expedition to Skyrim, they said. It'll be fun, they said. There uh -oh. won't be any horrible ancient Nordic zombies, they said. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone, if anyone's experienced Modder and could look at uh, Beyond Bruma, and then um, look at uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma, and then look at Immersive Creatures and figure out how to get it to summon to summon the other with a patch, and can make the patch for me, I would love you forever. Yeah, if someone can figure out how to carry over the animations and skeletons and textures from from the Bruma mod and put it into immersive creatures, it'd be awesome. Now, basically, what I want I want what I wanted to do is immersive creatures to spawn. Minotaurs from Bruma instead of spawning its own Minotaur in the same way it does it. So whatever script it uses to summon monsters, where it summons a Minotaur, it would summon the Bruma one instead of its own min uh, Minotaur. Same with goblins too. It would be a, a patch you'd have to uh, do to change some things, but... It would be awesome if someone could get that to work. Whoa, hold on. Back up. Oh my god. Uh, spawn. Basically, I want immersive creatures to put Bruma's Minotaur into the leveled lists. To so instead of summoning its Minotaur, it will summon the Bruma one instead. With its animations and everything. You do know where you're going, don't you? So basically, do exactly what it does, except swap the creature that it's summoning. And ogres. Wait. Yeah, and goblins if possible. So the Minotaur and Goblin would be from the Bruma mod instead of its own version, which are not nearly as good. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Or just the Minotaur. The goblins are okay. The goblins are okay, but ju at least just the Minotaur. Because the Minotaur looks really bad in immersive creatures. It's really, really ugly.
Oh my god. Her damage is nuts. Yeah, the vampire's damage is crazy. She, doesn't, she hates fire. Give her the fire. Got her. Whew. You gotta kill her fast before she gets a hit off her. It's over. How did I get that thing on? Your mods look pretty good. Makes me want to spend four hours mod the game just to not play. It took me 20 hours to install all the mods, so keep that in mind. Yeah, it's like you gotta really want to do it. Although you could cut the time down by 80% if you just install a couple texture mods and you're done. Textures will take forever, there's so many of them. Texture for everything. There. <laughs> Get burned by my righteous fire. Oh god. Vampire's damage is it's nuts. They must have super strength. Okay, I need a potion of healing. Nope, god damn it. Oh my god. Gotta be careful here. Kick it, kick its face up and slam it down with a mace. That's awesome. Is 
deathly pale. That sounds like evil. Stable? What sort of fortitude. Better run. Oh, my God. Got to be careful. Vampires hit hard. Uh, this is the Dawn Guard quest line. Gotta be more in here, so be careful. Save. I don't know what's going to be in this room. Oh my god. For me, mortal. Hi there. Over here. How you got you like a hunter. They raised it from the dead. They can't do that. Now it's fighting for them. That's not cool. I'm going to loot the mushrooms first. Are you ready? This is going to be tough. Double Master Vampire. Oh God, oh God, oh God, run! Son of a bitch! Can't go through this gate. That sucks. You can't beat me. You won't even live to regret this. Run! Oh 
Run back, Lucian. No. Oh, God damn it. Heavily modded playthrough, you want to limit your use of the quick save button. They are so aggressive. Oh my god, they hit so hard. No, nothing goes through the gate. Ready to test that. God! What level is this guy? He's insane! <laughs> oh, he can go through that one.
Whoa, from behind. Oh my god, this guy must be insanely high level. Pause. Burn him up, please. Savage. He's got to be like level 100. He wants to bathe in my blood. I don't like that. Yes, I can. Just have to use advanced tactics. Yeah, the smite thing does eight times damage to undead. You can do it once every 30 seconds. So he got wrecked by that. Plus, he hates fire. That was insane. Hopefully that was the boss. Save. 
Yeah, like, I think he's de leveled to be 100, so. I'll never tell you not supposed to be able to kill him yet. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. Are you sure that was wise, Lokio? He still might have told us something. We haven't gotten anywhere ourselves with nothing. He served his purpose by leading us to this place. Now it is up to us to bring Harkon the prize. And we will not return without it. Vingalo and Orthios will make way for me after this. Yes, of course, Lokio. Do not forget who brought you news of the vigilance discovery. I never forget who my friends are. Or my enemies. Uh, yes, Darth Falcon. I do. You're working on the Minotaur patch for me? That's awesome. Thank you so much. Scroll of Firestorm. God, that wasn't even the boss. That was just a master vampire. The boss is coming up. Wow, this place looks so good. Look at this. This is amazing looking. Part of me feels maybe we shouldn't be here. You think? Master Vampire was strong. This guy was a pushover. Where did the lady go? Oh, there she is. Ah, here you are. I'll drink you dry, mortal. You're gonna suck me dry. Notes on Dust Mallow Crypt, Chapter 3. Adavald. Divines be praised, here at last is the breakthrough I've been seeking. All the dangers I have escaped, the traps I've eluded, and the foul dragger I've avoided have brought me at last to this. In my previous volume of notes and observations regarding Dim Hollow Crypt's possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history, I wrote of, of a great chamber, far larger than anything else I've, I've seen here in the crypt. Alas, a few wandering Draugr forced me to retreat to the early passages of the crypt, thus deprived me of the opportunity to study this huge cavern. Well, praise be to Stendar, for as I write this, I have just spent nearly a full day exploring that very cavern. It was a risk that provided, proved more than worth it, as I found what in that chamber nearly defies description. 
Center of this huge cavern is an island of stone in a subterranean lake. Upon this island is something I can only describe as an elaborate ceremonial construction surrounded by stone columns linked by arches. There is no mistake in the stark contrast in architecture here. No ancient Nords made this stonework. Here, too, were more of the gargoyle statues that I first glimpsed in earlier passageways. There is no drug or burial site in Skyrim that contains these statues, save Dim Hollow Crypt. Indeed, I am now certain that the strange construct in this main chamber was built long after the crypt, and by wholly different masters. There must they, these must be the same builders who placed the gargoyles throughout the crypt, perhaps to frighten away the curious. All signs indicate that the masons who crafted these strange arches were servants of some ancient master who favored necromancy or vampirism. The style and craftsmanship of the stonework are not only distinct in terms of design, speaking to, seeming to speak to an entirely different culture than that of old Nord people, but also in skill with, uh, for which they were fashioned. The cutting and shaping of the stone, for example, suggests more sophisticated tools than the crypt's original architects would have possessed. Although I feel a sense of exhilaration that my theories have at last been confirmed beyond any shadow of a doubt, I'm also disappointed at the lack of answers. How long ago were the, these new features added to the crypt, and by whom, and for what purpose? At one point, on one point I have no doubts. I must return to the Hall of Vigilant and share these findings with my brothers and sisters. When they just see what I've discovered with their own eyes, they will no longer scoff at my theories or mock my endeavors. And when that is done, I will return to my work. For now, Dim Hollow Crypt might be a mystery, but by Stendar, I will see this map mystery solved. Hmm, cure disease potion. As in feathers. Uh oh. Nope, nope, nope. Cure disease potion. Yeah, get rid of that shit. Uh. Gargoyle statues. Is this place? It won't budge. Ow! Ah! Damn! Something on the back of the note? What note? Chalution. Something's happening. I can solve this with brute force, I think.
dying Where is... Do you think Who sent you here? Dead? Perhaps best not to think about it. Who were you expecting? I was expecting someone... like me, at least. What do you mean, like you? Uh, can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. You sound like Laura Bailey, though. Why were you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. You need to know how to get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Why do you have an Elder Scroll? It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Why were you locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Tell me about your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Why wouldn't you be safe? Why would you be, wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Oh, that's so hot. How long were you in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? Elisif of Solitude will be High Queen. I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? The Empire supports Elisif, but there are many Skyrim loyal to Ulfric. Empire? What? What Empire? What? The Empire from Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is the seat of an Empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. How are you feeling? Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Got it. Yes, boss? Right behind you. Let's go. I believe you can have two followers. Serena and then someone else, I think. She doesn't count as a follower. So let's look the other way. Uh, 2K pulled Borderlands 3 from the Epic Store? Why? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Ah! No! Get smoked! Evil creatures. Did I just kick a gargoyle? Hell yeah, I did. I'm gonna smite him with my foot. It's lucky he didn't shove my foot up his ass. Ooh, hello there. 
Malachite. What the hell is that? Did you summon the undead? Oh, hell no. Okay, I gotta fix you, and you're not gonna like it, but the only way to get you off of that. Come on, Lucian. I sense good in her. I don't sense evil. the sound skeletons make. That creamy crack. No, I have a good feeling about Serana. I feel like there's something that would be good inside her. I mean, I feel like there's some good inside her. She's not evil. I sense good. Hang on. Whoops! Who's there? My bad. Fall is garnet. Whoa, fire. Skeleton mage. Not very impressive. I think we got him though. Yeah, if she raises the dead, um, you can't loot the body anymore, I think. Which is annoying. Oh, 
Oh god, a swarm of skellies. Show yourself. Be smited, evil. I'll kill y'all. Uh oh, oh, get up, get up. Damn. All right, get him down. Get smited. Got him. He got freaking smoked. Dead bodies that are burning. It's a torture chamber, isn't it? They'd all sit around and watch someone get burned alive. That is creepy. I hear a word wall somewhere. Staff of ice spikes. Oh, there it is. Stamina. Drain vitality. Uh, Draugr are undead Nords that protect the tombs of their ancestors. I believe they're actually a real life, uh, a real life myth. made it. She has a freaking Elder Scroll. <sighs> it's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. So you were asleep for hundreds, if not thousands of years. That's crazy. Get smoke. I 
I think it's time we head to Solitude. And from there, we can head out to her uh, castle. Hey guys, don't tell her, but I think I may have found my waifu for this playthrough. There's just one problem. Who's there? Visible mutt. Visible snapper. I don't know how to. Yeah, the sky test uh, mud crab snappers are invisible. I don't know how to fix it. There was one suggestion of disabling sky test, loading the game, and then saving, and then doing it again, but I don't know. Didn't seem to fix them. Unless I gotta run the bash patch just in Asus again, too, to remove it completely. Yep, they're right there in front of me. Let's turn off Sky Test for Dell. This may not work since. Bash patch requires it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix these goddamn mud crabs. Mud crabs are driving me insane. Build. I'm removing sky test. 
So remove sky test, load the game, and then turn it back on and load it again, and then it should be fine. Apparently that fixes it. Sky test after all these years is still pretty buggy. The sky test dev says you shouldn't use other monster mods. Maybe there's no way to fix it. Yeah, who knows? Wait, what requires sky test? Sky test. Favorite game of all time, forever? Um, I don't know. It's hard to just pick one. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't just simply turn Sky Test off and then turn it back on. There's, there's a lot of patches for it that I have installed. And then the bash patch requires it, so I have to rerun them, clear it, turn it back on, and turn it back off. It's a whole thing. God of War or Witcher 3 for me. Those are definitely good ones. Oh, no. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Now we turn it back on. All right, then run Asus. Move all that shit. Then I load the game, save, and then turn it back on, and hopefully then it's fixed. And if they're fixed, I shall give chat 20 gift subs. Yep, 20 gift subs. All right, see how this goes. Just search for my name. Oh, the Minotaur patch? You tested it and it works, Darth Falcon? Or does or, or are you assuming it works? I would try spawning it just to make sure. 